The first area where dinosaur footprints were found was discovered in February 2002, along the route earmarked for the Trans-Jura motorway. At first we were astonished. We were surprised by the discovery, even if we already knew that there could be tracks in the region. The paleontological importance was determined by different factors. It went from fifth or sixth most important site worldwide to the most important based on the number of footprints documented. Up until now, we've recorded 8,930 dinosaur tracks. We've divided them into two main categories, four-legged, three-toed herbivores and bipedal carnivores that left prints similar to those of birds. For sauropods, we found tracks that indicate very small individuals. We also have prints measuring 1 meter and 20 centimeters, belonging to animals that were 6 meters tall at the haunches. On top of all the dinosaur tracks, we've archived around 40,000 fossils. There are numerous vertebrate fossils like marine crocodiles, turtles or flying reptiles. We still don't know why dinosaurs lived in this region. Maybe we'll never know. What is certain is that they moved along a system of islands, probably stretching from what is today southern Germany to the central massif of France. We're in Corte du, and more precisely, on the path of the future motorway. The work begins by surveying the land. We then determine the position and exact location of the excavation. Afterwards, the excess soil is removed, first by machine and then by hand. The findings are documented, classified, photographed, drawn, and if necessary, the soil is stabilized or taken to the laboratory. The work provokes many emotions. It's so incredible doing the excavations that I often return to the site at the end of the day to comprehend the importance of the finds. This site will disappear in 2011. Sure, it would be nice to postpone construction of the motorway in order to continue with the excavations, but that's not very realistic. We must find other solutions. We're here on the Comron site, which is an example of how the motorway can be built to allow the preservation of the dinosaur tracks. It's an example of how paleontologists and engineers can successfully work together to find an intelligent solution. The region's paleontological and geological heritage is enhanced by the Paleo Jura project with the goal of preserving the discoveries made during the motorway construction and exploit them in three ways. Scientifically, we'd like to continue the research, possibly also starting excavations outside the motorway path. We're also developing educational modules to raise awareness among students of geology and paleontology. And finally, there is the tourism angle, to give people the chance to explore these sites. I think a people today should not only have the right, but also the responsibility to document, analyze, and study all of our paleontological and geological heritage, which could be destroyed, in this case, by the construction of a motorway.